Extraction arrived at the mother base. Please select a mission. Analysis complete. Exfiltrated. That's it. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Mission complete. Boss. he wants to work for us. Having talked to him, he doesn't seem that bad a guy. Apparently, the arms dealer's people demanded they prolong the conflict, and he couldn't go against the management. That doesn't excuse everything he did, but his skills will make him a useful asset. Let's put him to good use. I've tossed that arms dealer in the break. The way he tells it, he worked in logistics with the South African Army, but he was headhunted by Sainer. Whoever gave him the orders would only have been a pawn of Skullface anyway. But apparently he hasn't been in contact for some time. He doesn't know much about Saner, not even what its president looks like. Just another cog in the machine. Good, he captured it alive. development on that new battle gear weapon that Emric was talking about. If you want to see how development's going, come take a look for yourself.
Boss, I know you're just coming off this mission, but there are reports of child soldiers taking over Masa village after the CFA got wiped out there. They've been raiding the surrounding villages, so the people have requested we eliminate them. Check your mission list for the details. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Please select a mission. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone can Roger. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Boss, welcome home. This is B-Quad. On station at LZ. Boss, I know you're just coming off this mission, but there are reports of child soldiers taking over Masa village after the CFA got wiped out there. They've been raiding the surrounding villages, so the people have requested we eliminate them. Check your mission list for the details. The White Mamba. Nyokayam Pembe. He's the commander of the kids based out of Wali Yamasa. As you know, contract forces of Africa were stationed at that village. Anti-government forces hired CRS to bring kids there from around Africa for training. But at some point, the adults with the PF started dropping like flies. This was right after we arrived in Africa. We don't know the cause. The kids ended up on their own. Must have been like fish out of water. Nothing to eat, no way to get back home. All the adults taught them was how to use a gun. Sure, they could shoot targets, but hunt for food? Not likely. They wouldn't have lasted long. Then the White Mamba showed up. He was faster and stronger than them, a better soldier, and he knew how to lead. I guess somebody wished upon a star, because their savior turned up like stardust straight out of the blue. The moment he arrived, the kids had their new commander. That was when they started attacking other villages. Word of the infamous White Mamba spread fast. But it isn't just his combat skills that got people talking. As you can tell from the name, he's the only light-skinned kid in the unit. Not to mention the blonde hair and the blue eyes. Not common in those parts. We have no idea where he came from or what he's experienced. The kid's a huge blank. But I'm sure you'll know him when you see him. One other thing. He's still a kid, so don't kill him. Be careful not to hit him with anything lethal. Not even a flesh wound. Our mission objective isn't just suppressing a bunch of militants. This is a DDR operation of the kids in that unit. DDR stands for Disarmament, Demobilization, and Reintegration. Disarmament is obvious. We take their weapons off their hands. The demobilization part means dismantling their military organization to ensure they can't arm themselves again. 
To do that, you need to capture the unit's commander and have him order his men to disband. In this case, the commander is the White Mamba. There's nobody above him, so he's all we need to grab. Finally, reintegration. Through education and occupational training, we give them a means to live besides war. A lot of kids born in a war zone don't know any other way to live. So before they find themselves back there, we teach them another skill. I'd like to establish this rehabilitation process at Mother Base. That's why we're bringing those kids back here. It's not so much for their sake. It's for the world that we're trying to create. No other way about it. Those kids are amateurs. Bad for business to have them running around where we're trying to work. Bring them all back if possible. Or as many as you can. Please specify a project. Please specify a project. Weather will clear shortly. Development project has been added. Development project has been added. Development project has been added. Please select a mission. Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa.
capture the White Mamba, the Child Soldier's commander, and bring him back to Mother Base. First off, head for Buala Yamasa. The map has been updated. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. A land landing zone. Roger. Extraction arrived at 
A landing support helicopter Roger. requested. Destination. Oh.
kids from the White Mamas unit. They have guns and they know how to use them. Rain approaching. So you're the so-called White Mamba. Something tells me that's not the name your parents gave you. Mission in 
Bravo has been updated. The map has been updated. Support helicopter requested. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Mission complete. Great work. soldier. You got that. Anyone here can use a knife or a gun. What you're gonna learn is how to use your head.
Let's move. When you get that under your belt, then you're free to leave. Select a mission. Unit dispatched. Please select a mission. Please select a land landing zone. Roger. Correct. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ.
Mission list updated. We placed the White Mamba and the rest of his unit in the staff living quarters. How's that going? It's a disaster, but what else can we do? We've taken away his weapons and banned him from using his nom de guerre. Apparently his real name is Eli. He must feel like we stripped him of his whole identity. We'll let things simmer down. I put a guard on him for now. Still the question is, who is he? Where did he come from, and how has he survived? He's still not talking. No, he won't say a word about himself. But you know, it looks like he speaks English. One of the deck crew called out to him in English, and he said something back. He just lost it all of a sudden, started mouthing off at the guy, in perfect English. He wasn't stringing together words he picked up somewhere. So English is his mother tongue? He could be from the east, or the south, or maybe even further north or south. English is well established in countries all across the continent. It's rooted in Africa like a weed, or maybe parasite is the better word. So just speaking English doesn't help us figure out where he comes from. Could even be from off-continent. Right. In any case, we'll keep an eye on him. If we learn anything else, I'll be sure to let you know. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. The map has been updated. You have arrived at your destination. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated.
Analysis complete. complete. momentarily.
Marker placed. You have arrived at your destination. the base. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. They're mercenaries belonging to Rogue Analysis Coyote. Complete. Not so much a corporation as a mixed bag of hired guns working together under a single banner. They cut their teeth in the British and Rhodesian SAS, the Sealu Scouts, 32 Battalion. Please. So they've seen plenty of action. Don't take any chances with them. Watch that. Ship in, this is 
Extraction arrived at the motor base. 